know, and I feel like since the beginning, you were always legacy minded. I saw like in previous interviews and Complex and even like on Underground Kings, you talk about how like I'm the greatest, you know, you said it before you knew you was. Mm. Um, like, was that, did you always have this confidence coming into it? Just thinking about the long game? Yeah, and I also f feel often that, um, that things that I repetitively think about or say, I'm able to manifest. Mm. Like, you know, this house, for example, I manifested this because I obsessively used to take my uncle's Audi and I used to take a girl to Young and Eglinton, Silver City to the movies mm -hmm. and then to Pickle Barrel for, for dinner because that was, you She's know, what I could afford. Real Toronto <laughs> shit yeah. that everybody's going to be excited you about. You know, chicken fingers and fries, yeah. you know. <laughs> that was just soda and nuggets. So she Straight. was a special young lady. <laughs> Straight. And then I used to go tell her like, yo, you, you want to go see where I'm going to live one day? Yeah. Because mm. this is where I'm going to live one day. And I, my uncle had the Audi drop and I used to drive these same three streets right here. That used to be my route right there. I used to come down. Yeah down Park Lane where we're at, then back back to Post Road and then back Bridal Path. And I used to, and Prince used to live around here. Oh, wow. wow. So I used, to, I used to pretend like I knew which one Prince's <laughs> house was. Every night I'd pick a different house. Yeah. Say, oh, that's Prince's <laughs> house. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I, 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 strong, I, I truly believe, you know, a lot of those things I, I said, they may not have been the case yeah, at the time, yeah. but I did believe that they were possible. What but, I think is it 